The nucleus of any atom consists of protons and neutrons. They might even put a proton and a neutron in my hand. Yeah, uh, except we were close. Oh. So no hands involved? No. Oh. <laughs> that was worth doing. <laughs> <laughs> If you're one of those many glasses wearers, and if you're one of the many glass glasses wearers, that 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 le that light. Yeah, should I do that? Yes. For example, if you're looking up at the moon and you cover it with your thumb, <laughs> that's my face, <laughs> which pops out of the metal, and the photon is destroyed in the process. I don't know why I can't say that. And the fact that these two angles equal each other is called the law of reflection. Oh my god, I really struggled to say that. Was it obvious? Uh, law of reflection. Let's do it one more time. Sure. It's time to use our understanding of the wave nature of light to explain what stars are made of, why you see rainbows in an oil stain in the parking lot, and how some fancy sunglasses can hit. <laughs> <laughs> They become bent and make the bottom of the straw appear to be somewhat bent. bent. If we point the flashlight at a reflective surface. <laughs> now you can also shine light through many equally spaced slits. This this called <laughs> I miss this that. Called thing. This called diffraction. I don't know why, but I like feel like I haven't fully put my teeth in yet. And when you increase the intensity of the light, does that affect the maximum kinetic energy of the ejected <laughs> ah. <laughs> This is like, what? Uh, there's no pause. But if the... <laughs> no, no, bring Abby back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and one measure of a lens, one measure of a lens, it lens. I think you take your breath before rip. I need to even understand this. Okay. <laughs> but when you look at the leaf through the lens, the virtual image is larger than the actual object. Sorry. It's bad, I could just see it blind. <laughs> and remember, when rays converge at a point, that means real image has been formed. <laughs> Help me. So we'll label the focal point on the side opposite of the object as F and the point on the same side as the object as F prime. Jeez. Lenses have the same focal length on both sides, so we'll label the focal point on the side of the opposite on the side opposite. Oh my gosh. Another important equation that's true for both converging and diverging lenses is the magnification equation. This was a refracting telescope. It consisted of an oh god. This was this was a refracting telescope. <sighs> it's one of those ones, isn't it? For example, if you rolled a bunch, waves interfere constructively when the crests of both both waves. <laughs> Sorry. That's fine. Where are you You're funny. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> but that's not. Oh my god. <laughs> when a ray moves it from air into water. Sorry, I'm just so conscious of the way I say water. 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 Later scientists studied such to get... <laughs> <laughs> Taking in as much light as possible in order to best capture images of distant objects. Oh my god. Like other waves, light also has a frequency and le wavelength. <laughs> <laughs> Taking in as much light as possible in order to best capture images of distant objects. I can do that again. It's important to know the masses of different nuclei since nuclear interact. It's important to know the masses of different nuclei since nuclear inter. Ah! It's important to. 
<laughs> you can, huh? <laughs> no, I lied. You guessed it. You, uh, only this. Oh my god. Bye. You sound surprised. <laughs> Did a good job for a change. <laughs> it's only taken 43 episodes. <laughs>